Hi guys, Retro Dango here. I actually wanted to make a review of the ACA 500 Plus, but I am having some trouble with it. So this video is gonna be a uh, yeah trouble with the a ACA 500 Plus video, where I have a question because maybe I'm doing this wrong, and, uh, and you can learn by watching this video. So um, let me just share my experience with you guys so you can see what I'm doing um, with this one because I just got it and um, I'm gonna show you the trouble I have with it. Mm, most, of the, most of the stuff actually works fine, but this hot swappable this hot swappable compact flash card thingy, it doesn't work as it should. Now, as I can read on the manual, it's hot swappable and, and all that. I have read it different places, but I, I, I never do that. I just wanna plug both compact flash cards in, just like this. And then just, you know, Boot the Amiga. With hot swappable, you can just while it's uh, while workbench is loaded, then you can of course not while reading or writing, but just you know while it's just on here, then you can just take a compact flash card and you can just plug it in and and it pops up. So let's just get some music. Something something nice here. Music. Yeah, we're gonna listen to Let's listen to some Madonna. <laughs> there we go. Alright guys, so as I showed you just a second ago volume guys just like this all right as you can see the ACA 500 um, works all fine I have no trouble with it other than it has you know only one megabyte of fast RAM so I can't really use it um, as it is as a standalone product product um, but when I it put my ACA 1232 then it works perfect or the blizzard 030 card mk4 works perfect then it's a really nice usable system but if you want to have uh, if you want to use it as a standalone card and play wht dot games or watch some demos and all that then you just need to have some more than one megabyte usable um, fast ram so then this one the second version or what I should call it you know so this is as you can see the plus version and uh, it's brand new as you can see the foil is not out yet it's just it's brand new it's beautiful it's different on the backside as I can see compared to the old one but guys it can boot and while um, if you use it with one card, the same card, this card, then it works fine. And if I boot with another compact flash card, for example, this one, uh, if I put it in here, then it won't boot. It won't. It won't show nothing. It. Uh, you can see it in the beginning. It. It reads this card and then it just stops. But. I have also tried the hot swappable thing, you know, uh, boot from here and while in workbench, take this fully working compact flash card, put it in here, the workbench just freezes, you can't do anything, it just, and I've tried different cards, it doesn't work guys, and I don't know why, and it's the newest version, uh, it's, it's flashed uh, with the newest version, and if we look here, we got a 
nice nice manual here guys one thing that i also tried is that it says here if you buy you know cheap ass no name uh, cf cards then it can have some trouble then it's a good idea to go into settings and as you can see pio mode uh, on default it's on mode 4 but it's good to set it on mode 2. i have uh, also tried that but um, it doesn't change nothing it's, it's it's just the same so i just want to show you first this one look at this this is just a sandis card and i think this one's called cactus 512 megabyte this one and on this one look at this guys this is the pcm it, yeah it's, it's just called pc0 but as you can see i got kickstart roms i got all 60 lips and all that which i mean again we got some mods in here so as you can see oh you can't see that it blinks but that's the card to the left and we have a lot of stuff it reads it reads we have a lot of mod finds i love amiga music so as you can see it works fine on this one all right so i just replaced the with the aca 500 plus and i just turned it on and it This Amiga 500 Plus is in incredibly unused, new, perfect condition. And I have even, I know how to use ISO and clean the connectors and all that. It's nothing with my Amiga, but these problems can also be occur on the Amiga 1200. Then it's a good idea to just take it out just a tad. Maybe it helps. Yeah. Yes, to drive. Okay. No. Well, there we go. <laughs> it worked. All right. So this new card, I mean, yeah, I have a bad feeling about it. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> it works sometimes, uh, but the other, the old one, the ACA 500, every time 10 out of 10 it boots it works it does not crash it just it does what it has to do it's amazing card i just like this one having some more ram that's great guys that's the only reason i don't it's got the um what's it called where you can uh, freezer it's got the freezer i don't care about that it can go up to 42 megahertz that's beautiful <laughs> i love that aspect of it and as you can see at f4 it has got seven megabytes of fast ram love that great great card so it could just be nice if it worked you know guys <laughs> okay so let me yeah okay let me show you what i mean um, so it boots now. Let's put in my CF card. Fully working. You just saw it a minute ago. This card just works, guys. All my compact flash card, they 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 work fine. There we go. So it should boot now. Crossing my fingers. I'm nervous. Come on, work. No yes, we have signal. So if you go in here, if if this card worked, I would love to make a total in-depth review for an hour 
what I would like to tell you about all the different you can see installer menu I love all these options I wanted to go through all these amazing stuff that Jens has made from individual computers but I just I just I just got stuck with this but maybe it's something with yeah what I'm doing so let's activate F7 as you can see a work slot is on activated so it just blinked that did something fell there let's just check on this one a little bit up here like this all right so I'm just gonna run 14 megahertz I'm not gonna clock anything I'm just not gonna you know just give it the best conditions that it can have you know <laughs> so uh, AUX slot is on let's just press enter and boot to workbench 3.1 and it runs 14 megahertz and 2 megabytes of chip RAM and 7 megabytes of fast RAM so you can't see the let's choose uh, workbench I'm just gonna do this so you can see how it, the LED blinks down there, so you have an idea. Um, yeah, 14 megahertz is just a tad slow, but yeah. Now, um, everything works right. <laughs> the mouse cursor, cursor, and everything it works. But look at what's gonna happen. Now, the AUX is on, and I'm just gonna insert this card. I said earlier, I don't like doing it with everything on, but the manual says it, and it, it should work, right? So if I just plug this one in, while, oh, my arm, while it's on, then uh, it blinks, it reads for a second, but when I, remove, when I yeah, move my mouse around, everything is dead. If I listen to music, everything is dead. It just freezes and I don't know what I'm doing wrong. And if I reset with the AUX card in, I'm still ill guys. That's why my voice is just a tad different today. So I just uh, soft reset it and yeah, it doesn't work with the card in. Yeah, it just stays like this. And if you just turn everything off and on again. As you can see, I support individual computers. Yeah, now I'm just gonna press F1. Boot ACA 500 plus complete with Kickstart 3.1. F1. It reads the first the boot card but when this one is inserted it just stops and i have tried four five different cards i have formatted on my pc fat format and all that no matter what i do also pio2 no matter what i do hot swappable it freezes with the card in it won't boot i've tried different options different 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 and so if you guys know what to do, please write it down in the comments below because I'm really stuck. Um, I mean, it's a new card, so I'm, I'm thinking about, I'm doing something. It's not my compact flash cards. I'm 100% sure about that. So if you go into uh, global options, how is the... There we go. As you can see, max CF PIO is four. I'm gonna take it down to two. Yeah. Um, the other one, uh, as you can see, max this mode, that's for the, um, the LED lights on the display down there. So let's just take it down to two now and let's save. There we go. Now it should take the slow, cheap, China <laughs> compact flash cards, as, as it says. And if we look in here, AUX slot is on. And the fun part is, 
If I just turn it off, I'm, I'm just going to show it to you guys. Now you can see. Um, now you can see the um, F7 AUX CF slot off. Look at what's going to happen when it's off. Yeah, that works fine. That's because we just disabled this slot and it works fine. It boots up beautifully, everything works. That's because it's disabled at the end. You can see two makes of um, chip RAM, seven makes of fast RAM. Everything is nice. But as soon as I activate, two seconds guys, let's just activate that AUX slot. There we go, AUX on. And see what's gonna happen now. Again, still 42 megahertz. We can just step it down. Seven, 21 megahertz, that's all right. So now the card is on and we're gonna see how it reacts, how the LED lights blinks down here. Look at this guys, let's press enter. It blinks, the boot. And it freezes. <laughs> yeah, so tell me what am I doing wrong here? I've tried, I've tried. I mean, I just want to make a great review about this card because I love this card. I want to support Jens. I just, I think I'm doing something wrong, but tell me what I'm doing wrong. So if you have experienced something like this, share it with me. Give me a heads up. If we can fix this, then in the next week or something, I will make a review of this card. If not, yeah, then I'll look at something else. <laughs> I'll use the old one. <laughs> so thank you for watching. Thank you for listening, guys. I just wish you a great day and have some fun with your Amigas, guys. Bye.